We're back with the tiger. When I started this episode last week, I was uh, not feeling very well and I had to stop because uh, a monstrous migraine was heading my way. And um, I also think, by the way, this is a helio blue reddish. I think it was not just a migraine. I think there is some sort of a virus, flu-like, heavy cold thing going on. I wasn't sneezing, but I was very cold. I had muscle pains and other things. So, But now, a week later, I feel uh, much better. I don't think you can hear it because the windows are closed. But uh, there is a great tit bird calling in our garden. Now it is September and um, great tits make a lot of noise in springtime. That has everything to do with uh, the lady tits, of course. They are looking for a mate. But this time of year, I think they are making a lot of noise too, for some reason. Maybe tell other birds, hey, this is my territory, get out of here. You know, autumn is... Uh, Autumn is coming, autumn is on its way. We had our first uh, storm yesterday in the Netherlands. A lot of wind. It's nothing like the hurricanes, uh, although occasionally we have a hurricane, but it's, well, they call it hurricane force winds, but I don't think it ever gets worse than a category one hurricane force wind. So if you are familiar with hurricanes, then uh, these strong winds have uh, caused a lot of trouble in the Netherlands in the past. Because we live below sea level, high winds from the sea push up the seawater towards the shore and um, you will get flooding. But since um, the Netherlands started building the huge constructions in the rivers and in the delta, where it's a delta, the Netherlands is a delta of two big European rivers. The river Rhine, the Rhine, and the river Maas, La Meuse, in French. And this huge delta is very vulnerable for flooding, just like Bangladesh, actually. So the Netherlands started to build huge constructions to uh, prevent flooding and so far it has worked but the government 
is slowly preparing people for uh, for flooding you never know so they want people to be prepared and there's a website you can uh, search for your own address and then you will see if a dike breaks if there's a flooding how much water you will get and where we will we live we will have two meters of water six feet So I'm just layering, I love this, I just still love this, these light layers of color. I can feel though that uh, the paper is slowly getting saturated. This will be one of the last videos that I can edit with um, the YouTube editor. YouTube has its own editor. It works quite well. You can't do everything with it, but for me it worked quite well. But they decided to discontinue it. They stop the editor. So, I will have to go... Uh, I will have to uh, to add it with a different program and that is quite I'm not so happy with it you know now when I record a uh, video I immediately upload it to YouTube so it's safe and then I can edit it in YouTube but now I cannot, so I have to save my videos elsewhere. Maybe on my laptop or... Well... I store it in the cloud, you know. But I'm not sure if the quality of the videos are the same. So I think I will store... These videos, I think, on on my laptop or or on on another hard disk. I don't know. And then 
I will have to go edit it with a different program. It looks like it's going to be more work now that YouTube discontinued the editor. So you can see me sometimes, uh, look, can you see that? There's a little bit of color on my finger now. Uh, polychromos pencils, uh, you can move, you can move the color around a little bit. It doesn't work always. It looks like it has something to do with the, um, with the humidity actually sometimes of the year it works and other times of the year it doesn't so my phone is playing tricks on me this is helio blue reddish yeah my husband already told me that it was time to buy a new phone. You know, the battery is uh, starting to deteriorate and the phone isn't safe anymore, my husband is telling me. I'm sure he's right. But, uh, you know, these smartphones, they are quite expensive and I just don't like the idea that after three years they were done. I uh, no, indenthrine blue. In my mind, expensive stuff should last longer. Anyway, so I lost uh, footage. Now I'm just working on the background. I did a little bit of work here with dark indigo. You know, I'm this background is just I love doing backgrounds, but you're doing the same thing. For quite a long time, just layering and layering, blending, blending. I think I was telling you about uh, my favorite art store. I was telling that in the footage that was lost my favorite art store in the Rotterdam they went bankrupt but fortunately they were saved by a German art uh, supplier quite a large art supply shop from Germany. I sometimes order stuff there. I bought my Sennelier Aquarelle watercolor paint there. Well, that's not true. I bought uh, additional colors to my Sennelier 
Art uh, Sennelier watercolor box. Let's try this one. Ultramarine, a lighter blue. Now these um uh, this German art shop has different brands than my favorite Rotterdam store. So I'm wondering what is going to happen to uh the brands that they are selling in Rotterdam. Maybe they will change. Maybe they won't, I don't know. And there is another shop in Rotterdam, an art shop, there are two. And I recently found out that they are selling the new Derwent Pro Color pencil. So maybe I should go there and try them. I'm not going to buy them. Not right away anyway, no. But maybe I can test them in the shop. Let's pick a slightly darker color, Indian Dream Blue. I've heard uh, great reviews about the Pro Colors, the Derwent Pro Color. So I am definitely curious. I saw a video of uh, Lisa from Lacry Fine Art and she was very, very enthusiastic about uh, the Pro Colors. For her, the light fastness was an issue, of course, because she's a professional artist and she makes uh, drawings with color pencils um, that should be able to hang on the wall. And if the light fastness isn't good, then eventually these drawings will fade away and of course she doesn't want that to happen helio blue reddish but as long as you are not hanging your stuff on the wall the originals light fastness is no issue A 
and let's go back to this one ultramarine I'm now going to darken this area and I'm using a black pencil again very light touch I really like this helio blue reddish color. It's a warm blue. I think I should uh, do some sharpening. The weather here in the Netherlands is really turning uh, towards autumn. And I think that inspired me to buy uh, something, uh, a Dutch cookie. Here in uh, the Netherlands we have a couple of cookies that are, I think, typical Dutch. And I think this one is one of them. It is called Speculaas. Here is a little, it looks like this. And... Um, well, it's part of a tradition, I think. We eat it uh, traditionally with the Sinterklaas party. You know, that is when in early December when we give each other presents. Just like Santa Claus on Christmas. And then we eat 
speculaas. It really tastes delicious. And uh, it tastes best, I think, with hot chocolate. But uh, I have a cup of ginger tea here. That's nice too. But when the weather gets colder, I really like uh, speculaas. Thank goodness speculaas is available in a gluten-free variant, gluten and wheat-free, because I'm allergic to the stuff. And uh, so I have gluten-free and wheat-free um, speculaas. So I saw it in the shop yesterday, so I immediately bought two packs, two packs, yes. My phone is having a hiccup. I hope it will keep working and not delete the video or not store it. That's what happened uh, 15 minutes ago. It just stopped and nothing was uh, saved. And let's grab the ultramarine again. Another thing I like doing when autumn is coming is uh, grabbing a couple of books about nature, putting them uh, in the bedroom and then go to bed early and do some reading. And one of my favorite books well, my favorite books for reading on cold autumn and winter nights are the books by the painter, Dutch painter, uh, Rien Portvliet. He made books of his artwork and he's telling stories what he, uh, about the wildlife that he encountered. really nice. So I have a couple of books and I'm currently reading a book about an old Dutch naturalist, Jacques P. Thijsse. He lived, uh, well he died a long time ago. They are old books I think he, he lived in the beginning of the century, the 20th century, up to, uh, I don't know when he died, I have to look that up. Anyway, but he was, he made books about, um, about nature and telling, a very nice way of telling stories and uh, so I'm reading a book that is called Oak and Beach. So the two trees, an oak tree and a beech tree. And he's telling about uh, how the, the trees grow and what animals are near the trees and in the trees. There are beautiful drawings in this uh, book. Really, really nice. And there was another book that I have, uh, this is Light Ultramarine, that I am reading, also about nature, also with a lot of drawing and watercolor paintings in it. And it, it struck me that some of those drawings and paintings were quite beautiful, 
and other ones I thought were not so beautiful. So I was, uh, I went searching for the uh, artists, and there was a whole list of artists who had worked on that book. But then I suddenly saw the name of my high school art teacher. <laughs> now he he made the the better looking paintings. But there was one artist that I thought, wow, doesn't look so good. Anyway, the book is nice. I just love reading about nature and looking at pictures and paintings. And Now, slowly, this background is starting to glow and that is exactly what I'm looking for just the glow and that happens when all the layers are starting to work together and then suddenly there is this glow thing, this magic happening. There is still a lot of wind after yesterday's storm. Last week I received uh, a letter, such a lovely letter, from a lady from the United States, I believe. She had done quite, she must have done some research on the internet to find my address. You can only find my address on a Dutch website. But she um, found out and she wrote me a letter to say, uh, just to a very kind letter, to say thank you for, uh, for the videos. So I say, uh, you're welcome. It's such a joy making these videos. Look, just another layer. This paper is almost saturated. It can hardly take more pigment, but
I've received many um, emails and a letter and a thank you card and so nice. If you want to write me, go ahead. I love receiving messages from you. It may take a while before I am able to uh, respond. Because uh, I do that once in a while, I'll answer everything that's more efficient because you know I have my other job teaching people how to sing That is a very rewarding job as well. I have a couple of students who are very, very talented. So that is very nice. Light Ultramarine Here is a dark indigo. So this is how I make night scene backgrounds. Just layering, 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 layering. And doing that for many, many hours, it gives me many, many hours of joy. That wasn't always like that. I've always loved art, drawing, painting, even a little bit of sculpting. But um, I was uh, in, always in a hurry. I wanted it to be finished in uh, 30 minutes or an hour. 
that Harry is gone. He uh, in then three blue. I don't know where that hair Harry went. It just left me, and that happened when I started coloring Joanna Besford's Secret Garden book. And um, after finishing that beautiful drawing of the door in the Secret Garden, I felt I wanted to do more in the same way. Here we have in a helio blue reddish. You know, and then I showed my coloring, my finished pages, to a professional artist, a painter, and um, he told me, uh, girl, you are an artist, this is not... Uh, This is not amateur work, what you were doing. So that encouraged me to also start doing more of my own work, my own artwork. It's not just coloring somebody else's drawing. Here is Ultramarine. I need a sharper point. Ultramarine with a sharp point. With more and more layers on the paper, a sharper point becomes uh, more important. I wouldn't call myself a professional artist yet because I think I need to learn a little bit more and that has not so much to do with how to use colored pencil, but it has everything to do with my sketching skills. I need, I really want to improve myself on that. And I know I can do it because uh, I used to be a good, uh, good in uh, sketching, but I haven't done it. I need to do it much more than I do right now. Light Ultramarine. That is why I started. I bought a little book, a, a little green book, and I want to use it as a nature journal. So take it with me. Just with a pencil or a pen and then just do sketches, sketching, sketching, sketching.
Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Now, let's work on that tiger. This is sanguine. I have that beautiful animal encyclopedia here. It was a gift. And um, I think I will take that to the bedroom as well. There are so there is so much information in that book, beautiful drawings, but also a lot of text, just information. And I recently read in that book that tigers that live in areas where it becomes cold in the winter, their uh, their fur become becomes lighter in winter. I hadn't thought about that. I'd like to read more about the tiger. Such a beautiful animal. There are not many left. It's a beautiful animal, but I think it is dangerous as well. I once saw a documentary about a, I think it is a natural park, a national park in India called the Sundarbans, Sun, Sundarbans. And there are tigers. And uh, these tigers um, know that we taste good. So once in a while, if they get the chance, they don't hesitate of uh, eating humans. Must be quite scary for people who live there. I also read about uh, black bears in Canada and North America and the United States uh, who uh, tend to attack humans. I'm just intensifying the colors of the tiger a little bit and then from there I will slowly build up the colors.
Maybe you remember I've been messing around with uh, gouache. And um, well, maybe I can cover this up. It's hard to get pencil on top of it, but here I have got under luminance. Maybe this pencil can do it. Oh no, look. The um, the gouache is no, it's not working. Look, I'm just that gouache is just getting loose. I'm going to do the same as I did with the eyes. Maybe you remember that. Um, I will take off the gouache and then I will scrape the ink lines off with a knife. But I'm going to do that next time. This is it for now. I'm very pleased with the sky, with the sky, with the background. I need to do a little bit more work here and over there. But uh, other than that, I yeah, this is good, good. I feel happy. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.